Ali Pears Tech Tips. Uh, okay, this is a very, very short video. I want to deal with a very simple subject. One is one of my viewers. You know, I've got 7,500 viewers now, subscribers. It's fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. Keep the comments and questions coming because you have a question or comment, I'll deal with it somehow. I'll either get an expert, I'll get the answer, or I may know it. Anyway, somebody asked me, how come when I'm breathing on my regulator, I look at the pressure gauge and the pressure gauge goes down every time I suck in? Okay, good question. Good question. First of all, it ought not to happen. Usually, if you have a, usually if you if you watch carefully, you can see the if you take a long breath, a long breath in, the gauge will drop very very slightly, but almost immediately come back up. Every once in a while, though, you'll see this. Can you zoom in here, Kevin? I'm going to try to keep the noise to a minimum. Can you zoom in? Can you see that dropping on there? <clears throat> Boy, that dropped. Just a second, I want to show you something now. There we go. Okay, so you can see there now, you can see quite clearly that the pressure gauge drops each time. Well, there's a very simple reason for that. Very simple reason. Obviously, air is not, high pressure air is not getting to this pressure gauge quickly enough. When you suck on the primary, you suck the air out of the first stage, so the pressure drops. It's supposed to immediately fill back up, and this is measuring that high pressure air, but it's not immediately filling back up. It takes a few seconds. Why? Well, that's a very simple reason. The valve's not all the way open. That's exactly what happens. We have this discussion all the time about valves and whether you should turn the back a half turn, a quarter turn, or turn the back at all. The answer is no. You don't need to turn the back. I don't know what your instructor told you, but when you open the valve on your scuba tank, open it to the end. Don't jam it open. Just open it until it stops and leave it there. Don't turn it back. Anyway, if you have any restriction in that valve, if it's partly or completely closed, here's what happens. See it dropping? Now, if you have a couple of people breathing on this, if it's the octopus and the primary going at the same time, that can get really bad. So all you need to do is open the valve. I'm going to open this valve now all the way. So if there's no restrictions at all to high pressure air getting out of the tank into the first stage. Not moving now, because we have full volume of high pressure air coming through the first stage feeding the second stage, and then subsequently feeding, feeding the pressure gauge. Really, very simple. If your pressure gauge is going up and down like this, it can only be caused by one of two reasons. Your valve is not completely open. Make sure it's completely open. Or you have a J-valve on your tank, which is highly unlikely. Maybe we'll talk about that some other time. You can read it, you, know, you can learn about J-valves on my, on my Alec Pierce Scuba, vintage scuba. Exactly. Anyway, that's the answer to your question. I forget your name, I'm sorry, uh, subscriber. But there was a question and there is the answer. Hope there is some interest to some of you out there. Alec Pierce Scuba, talk to you soon.